Hello and welcome to Infinity. This is part of a series looking at trying to improve this uh, landscape picture. And this time we're just going to use RGB curves. So let's start off and we'll put in curves, which gives us a histogram. And one of the first things to do is look at the shape of the histogram. What's going on here? I've got three kind of bumps. Well, this one is the brighter area, so that would seem to be the sky. I can test that out by fixing this here, put one point here, one point lower down, and another one sort of in the middle, so that when I do this, those don't move very much. And look, if I move this up and down, you can see it's the sky. That's no problem. Right, so now I'm going to put a couple, one up here, and then one down in here. Get rid of that one, right click to get rid of the points, then move up and down, this is the foreground. What about this little bump down here? So I'm going to put a couple of oops, fixing spots in here and say, what if I move this? Now this is see, the mid-ground and these trees are being affected less, so maybe it's those. So let's fix that there. Right-click to take off some of these bumps and just fiddle with this one here and look what's happening here the, you can see the, the trees at the bottom so this bump here the trees we can hit reset i'm going to use two curves layers for this the first one here i'm called luminosity and guess what that's luminosity or lightness so we're going to treat them separately and to make sure we stay the same we hit the blend mode and we go down to luminosity so now when we move this, we're only changing brightness and not colour. So we'll look up here and kind of fix these, this here, so this isn't going to move much, hopefully. Then we want to start changing things down here. We could isolate this here, but if you start moving the, this brightness here, the front trees at the front look a bit odd. So we're going to, yeah, right clicking those points, we're going to include those in it. So what we're going to do is, we can use the picker, go to one of the lighter bits there and say, I want to make that bit brighter. So I'm going to drag that one up. And then go to the darker bits, say like in there, click on that and pull that down. And I want to make that one a bit darker. And so overall, we've got we've increased the contrast. So this gives a starting point. We can now play with it about, but it's kind of about right. Uh, and it's mostly excluding these trees as well. We're going to deal with those in the color. So let's put in a another curves here, and we're going to make this one change the colors. So a way to do that: blend mode, go down to color. Now all we're doing here is changing colour. So we need to go to the RGB for this. And uh, well, before we do that, let's try something up here. If I use the picker up here and look at the colours we're getting. In this area here, notice you've got blue is the highest, then green and then red. So, and green is not too far behind blue, so you're going to get sort of bluish sign in there. Come down here and down to this one here. Now what you've got here is green is the highest followed by red, which means there's yellowish in there. So here we've got to look out for cyan and blue. Here we're going to look out for yellow. So let's treat this yellow first because it's kind of annoying me. So I'm going to go to the blue because the opposite of blue is yellow. And if it's this bump down here we're working on, well maybe we can fix things further up. And then if we move this up and down, you can see what's happening here. We can change in the colours. In fact, let's take the end one here and play this from the dark, see if that what that does. See, you can yank this up quite a way and it's not doing anything, any great deal of harm. Maybe we'll pull that up a bit. And we want to see what's going to happen to playing here, just to darken off and reduce the yellow in those trees. Because we go this way, it goes more yellow, so above the line, you're adding blue, taking away yellow. Maybe let's that come up, that one come up a bit as well. 
There you go, that's better. You can just play with these points here and see how that works. There we go, we've darkened those trees down and we've taken the yellow out of them. What about this mid-range here? Maybe just a bit of a tweak, I'd make it a little bit greener. So let's go to green. Here we are, that range, and let's click up here to fix the brighter colours. Up there. And down closer to the bottom point is going to keep that more stable. Then what can we do here? You can see we've made that greener that way and we don't want it to be magenta. So I oh, want to pull up the middle. Let's see what happens. It's going to be quite a sharp effect, isn't it? So maybe what I'll do is go to the end here and just pull it up just a little bit. So we get a bit more green in that. And finally, right. What are we going to do with red? Well, the opposite of red is cyan. So maybe we could try putting or playing around with cyan in that. So again, we'll fix this here. And if we go up, we're going to go add more red. If we're going to go below the line, we'll add more cyan. But you see, it actually looks pretty green. So see if I'm going to pull this across a bit. Just get tiny, tiny amount. Yeah, that's Kind of about there. This is very much a matter of playing. So that's it. We also want to look up here and say, do I want all the green up there? Maybe I want that faded off a bit. Or even, here's a trick, fade from the front and make it fade off into the distance. So here's a neat one. So let's go to a gradient. And it starts off here with, it's going to be white. So we want to keep it closer in here. And Draw a line up to there on this this colour curves one and click on here, take the end one there and make that black. So that means that's going to not have an effect. So here we've been playing with the colour only up as far as this here. So the colour's brighter at the front. I'll maybe bring this up a bit here. Play with the middle point. How's that going to work? See, it's going to have a subtle, subtle effect, but it's basically that green, the brighter green, you'd expect that to fade off with the haze as it goes into the distance. So, there we go. Let's look at before and after. Before and after, I think that's improved that. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.